Infective endocarditis is an infection of the inner surface of the heart, most commonly left heart heart valves. Aortic valve is most common valve affected. Mitral valve prolapse is associated with endocarditis in 20-30% to of cases. Most frequently occurs in adults between 45 and 65 years of age. Risk factors. Diabetes mellitus, HIV, poor dental hygiene, congenital heart disease, intravenous drug abuse and prosthetic valves. Acute endocarditis is most commonly caused by Staphylococcus aureus, usually methicillin-resistant strain, streptococcal species groups A through G, Haemophilus influenza, and Streptococcus pneumoniae. Subacute endocarditis is most commonly caused by the viridins group of Streptococcus. Endocarditis of artificial heart valve Staphylococcus epidermidis. Turbulent blood flow damages the valve, adherence of fibrin and platelets to the areas of damage, circulating bacteria or fungi are trapped and starting proliferation of the pathogens, laying down a fibrin to encase the vegetation. Viridin's group of streptococci infects previously damaged valves. S. aureus infects normal or previously damaged valves. Vegetations destroy the valve leaflet and the chordae tendini. Valve destruction leads to regurgitation, insufficiency, murmurs. Clinical findings. Fever is the most consistent sign of E, 90% of cases. Infective endocarditis is a common cause of fever of unknown origin. Fatigue and failure to thrive, arthralgias, and a positive rheumatoid factor are seen in 50% of cases. Roth spot, an irregular red area with a central white dot on the retina. Microemolization findings occur in greater than 50% of cases. Splinter hemorrhages are linear hemorrhages that are present in the nail beds. Janeway lesions are painless areas of hemorrhage on the palms and soles of the feet. 10% of cases. Osler nodes are painful hemorrhagic nodules on the pads of the fingers or toes. Due to septic embolization and resulted infarctions may occur in different tissue sites, for example, digits, brain, kidney, spleen, myocardium. Positive blood cultures are present in 80% of cases. Neutrophilic leukocytosis occurs in acute infective endocarditis and monocytosis occurs in subacute effective endocarditis. Three to five sets of blood cultures should be obtained within 60 to 90 minutes followed by the infusion of the appropriate antibiotic regimen. Echo or transesophageal echocardiography is used to detect vegetations on the valves. Treatment. High-dose antibiotics are the cornerstone of treatment for infective endocarditis.